This is our 35th wedding anniversary. We're up in Pigeon Forge for a couple of days. This is Johnny Carino's Italian restaurant. Wave, Chris. Smile or do something. <laughs> All right, we'll get some more shots of this town and the tourist attractions. We are in Cades Cove. This is a 11-mile loop that we'll stop and see some cabins, some churches. Uh, there's always wildlife up here. If we're lucky, we'll we'll be able to sh to uh, get pictures of some wildlife. But it's just it's just beyond beauty right here. Just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Just, wow. Any time of the year, you you. The four, you can come up here all four seasons and see different different kind of beauty. Just enough snow on the ground. It is very cold. It's like 25 degrees right now. This is one of the many churches on the uh, on the loop up here on the Cades Cove. you imagine the singing and the preaching in this building? Just, it just, even being empty like this, listen to the voice just resonate through it. Well, there's a couple more churches on this loop I'm going to stop at also. This is so cool looking. I don't know the name of the last church we stopped at. This one's Missionary Baptist Church, founded 1839. The last church and this church, they're just less than a mile apart. So this one's Baptist. The last one might have been Pentecostal. Not sure. I like the way the windows are behind the pulpit up here. It looks pretty cool. Let's get up in the pulpit and look down at the crowd. The light will be behind us. So this is what the preacher saw on Saturday. Hope on Sunday you found a full crowd. Now I've never seen pews laid out like this, but I guess it makes sense. Oh, I didn't see this. Look at here. Jonah and the whale. There's some hymnals here also. Broadman hymnal. I think that's Southern Baptist. Let's see what's on this side. Probably the same thing. Oh, the Methodist hymnal. We're in the Baptist church. All right. Let's see what's on. Let's see what's on under. Oh. Okay. This is the Bible here. Let's see what they got it opened up to. Ezra. Let's see if I can get. Uh, okay, I can read Ezra. There it is. I'm gonna step off here and get the shot of the pulpit again. Pretty cool, isn't it? I love these old churches. Some more beauty. You can hear the cars behind me. Wow, there's nothing to say here. Just look at it.
Now we saw a deer and we saw a turkey, but I wasn't able to pull the car over to find a place to park. Look, inside of each room. Boy, this is a tiny room. And here's the main room. I'll do a little circle. Let's go ahead up here to the top, and I guess this is where the kids probably swim, up here in the loft. A lot of ventilation. <laughs> All right, let's go outside. There's plenty of room to live in here. If a guy can live in his van, he definitely could live in here and have room to spare. Looks like I might not go out here after all. It's all muddy. Ah, well. Let's go anyway. All right, here's another outbuilding. There's a couple more outbuildings way out back. That one looks fairly modern compared to the other one. But who knows, I love these fences. Look at that sky. Well, we picked a beautiful day to come to Cades Cove. There's more people up here today than I expected. I thought it'd be like nobody up here. I had to get a shot of this one. Look at the snow on the roof. We'll go inside and explore and see what we can find. Man, look at the look at the steps up to the porch. Wow. See this let me back up and make sure I got this in the picture. See the steps? Now that's a good sitting porch. Just sitting, whittling, feel, feel the breezes, drinking some sweet tea. Come on, you gotta admit that'd be a lot of fun. Look at how tall the the roof is because I'm 5'7", and if I, I can almost, I'm just underneath that, so that's like 5'8", is how, uh, is how much that is. Wow. I'm going to try something here. Well, I can't do that on this one. All right, let's get inside and look it over. This is basically one big room. Like I already said, if you could live in a van, you'd have, <laughs> this would be like a mansion. Wow, look at here, look at the fireplace. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna turn this flash on so we can get a little more light. Look at that. Wow. I am so fascinated with these uh, with these old buildings. I just, and I guess I'm just fascinated with history. But I look at the view from their back back door every morning. Tell me that's not beautiful. Okay, here's the back. Backside, well, we got snow up there on the top on the backside too. Let's come around here to the other side and look at that big chimney. 
good grief. Look at that. I got to get up close where you can actually see the stones in that chimney. Look at that. Walk back up the stairs, up the steps of that same cabin, because I want you to see how how short the uh, the doorway is compared to uh, how tall I am. Now let me see if I, I see that. It's like like one hand. In fact, I can stand on my tiptoes and get get up to it. Isn't that cool? Look at how, how low that door is. I've never noticed that in old buildings before. See how low that doorway is? Huh. Now I'm going to walk out the back door. I mean walk out. I'm, I'm walking out the back door. The same thing here. I'm going to put my hand up there where you see how. I mean, I've never been one to bump my head. I got a nephew six foot seven. He'd have to get on his knees to get through this one. That's pretty cool. All right, that's enough of this. Now this is beyond beautiful. I could stand here all evening and just listen to that. Boy, I tell you what, I love being out here. It is cold. <laughs> I should have put a hat on, but I just want a few more seconds of this beauty. I'm gonna, this, this is just beyond, I love this. I'm gonna pan around here, I'm leaning against the tree right here. And here's the falls again. Wow, look at that, is that not beautiful? Wow.